Yeah. Now, I'm experiencing negative frequencies to get myself even more prepared. I mean, heck, when I reversed Tom Snyder's message on what he said on TV, there was a woman like, We are demons. Can you hear me? I think she said, We got all the vice. All of it. I don't have chills down my uh, skin just hearing that. I'm getting ready to hear new demons, man. Not that I'm trying to taunt them, but they already know. And they're trying their hardest to get rid of me. They're scared right now. There are gonna be demons speaking through this frequency saying all types of shit. And I, I'm smiling like this because I'm showing them their own ugliness, but I'm using it as a use dress to take the evil and use it for good, showing them that I'm playing them at their own game, but I'm doing them better than they can, not by stooping to their level, but rising above it. I'm being a lion, man. I'm telling you right now, I hope that video showed everything. This is going to be like two hours. Okay? There's a song, an orchestra, that fucking had a song about me when I got taken advantage of in 2013, uh, 2015 by the one who took advantage of me, man. There was a song, and every note represented what was going on with my life and how I got taken down, or how I was attempted to be taken down. They're all saying this. Dude, I'm not making this shit up, man. They're trying everything to get rid of me, man. They're screwed and they know it, man. It's already happened. I mean, I was listening to Earl Sweatshirt's song. What is it like? Uh, I mean, heck, Solace, that song. There was one voice who says, You're afraid. That was in there. He probably put that shit in there. Fucking... Fucking what else, man? I was listening to motherfucking grown ups, or it's motherfucking grown ups, and there was a voice in there saying, You're gonna get it. You're get saying, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna be taken out. Nope, I'm right here, and I've accepted everything. I'm not gonna fucking back down. I'm getting stronger. I hear demons speaking through a frequency right now. Shit, if I was alone, that'd make me even stronger. I'm not even afraid. I'm not fucking afraid. This is such a fucking video game. Shit, I was reversing stuff from that video game of Jack 3 and demons spoke to me through those reverse messages. And they were, the way they talked to me, it sounded just like a movie. It was a joke. It's like they admit that they're dumb and stupid, that they can't defeat me, man. And it was like they couldn't even scare me anymore. Dude, it's so, it's, they're such a joke, man. This is such a joke, man. And I started laughing. Because I'm like, you know, this is this is not even, this is like a movie, man. This is a fucking movie, man. Ever look, ever look out and see all these flashes in your eyes? Like you really, you, nothing's really clear. You have all these like glowing things. Like they're just like little, like, like all that shit. It's all vibrating energy. But see, I bet when we get to heaven and ascend up to the next dimension, it'll be all clear. I hope you could watch all that. Okay? Yeah. Mac Miller's dead. He's dead now. Okay? And he wanted to wake you guys up, but, you, but so many were so enslaved. He felt bad, man, but he signed on to something. And he had to do the gay rituals and stuff. I hate to say it, man, because Pete, Pete Davidson got rid of one guy. He said he, like, he just kicked him out some, of some place. He was hanging out with him. He joked about Mac Miller's death, man. Because he even knows, man. See, see, he's working with the agenda, but even he kicked him out. People say, oh, he got paid to do that. Hey, maybe. I mean, anything's possible nowadays. Everything's so deep in the Matrix, but something tells me he had emotion, real emotion, even through what he's been compromised by, that when they said that about Matt, when he said that about Matt, about, uh, that about Matt Miller, he, I, see, I heard a spirit say yes. Yep, I was right. You see? This isn't a fucking joke, man. I'm starting to get more aware of spirits fucking talking. I'm not even, like, joining him. I trust in God, man. And it'll probably show up in this video. I'm getting more awake. They're scared. Tom Snyder, backwards in the message, I'm pretty sure he said. He's gotten so big and huge, we gotta start releasing his server and his searches of what he searched up. I told you, man. 
It's, nobody bus it's nobody's business. I never went over the line, but I'm ready to admit everything if you try to blackmail me. But yeah, Tom Snyder reversed. I mean, they said in Revolution 9 backwards, and they were like, we have his server. I'm not joking around, man. I mean, messages change and switch up because there's demons that go in there and change it or something. It's not even the same one. I mean, like when Paul McCartney was uh, communicating to me, Paul McCartney, in, a, in a, an interview in 1968, the, one of the messages weren't even the same. They can change any time right in front of you because it's all vibrating energy. Anything can happen, man. The Matrix fucking glitches up, man. Start asking yourself, why are you even a fucking victim at this point? Why do you give a shit that your skin is a fucking color, man? Everything's met in its own way, but we're just positive energy, and we're just energy, man. So why does all this shit fuck matter to you? Like, if you're black right now and you still look at me like you hate me, dude, that's sad, man. I just fucking showed you how none of this shit fucking matters, man. It's about getting with the light and just, you can you can meditate like none of this shit matters. Ask yourself why you're still fucking victim, Earl. Why are you still fucking cooped up and shit? Why do you fucking care, man? I'm not even trying to say what you went through. Like, oh, get over it. Like, it doesn't, like, you had no, like, it wasn't bad in its own right, but I'm just trying to get you to realize you can rise above it. In a way, it's insignificant. Um, I hate to say it. If you look at it, it depends on how you relate to it because, because, um, God is so much more than what you're going through. And you give thanks to the most high in some rap songs. I did make a comment. When I said the offer's on the table, but I, I mean, I was going through some emotions. I wasn't fully meditated, so my mind was being played against a little bit, but I'm even more clear than I was. I'm, I was still meditating, but I was still not fully up there, but I was still okay. But now I'm like really awake. I keep meditating, man. It's only been a month or so. I think I hear spirits talking right now, trying to tell me stuff, make me foreshadow something. And I feel a little chills come up, man. And cause they're all related to me, man. I'm getting too strong, man. I'm gonna look past this video, man. I probably won't even be able to save this video. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna go. Do not be enslaved. If you're black, just forget about it, man. Start meditating right now on 520 hertz and get out of this system, man. This is, you're a program, man. You don't have to be like this, man. Dude, you don't have to be like this. If you stay through all these parts of the video, then congratulations, man. Dude, I bet I opened up your eyes and you were probably mad at me at first to begin with, but now you start seeing shit. You start or questioning shit. That's good, man. Get Escape it, man. They're trying to get you, man. Dude, this is all a trap, man. These energy vampires, these demons, these spirits on a frequency, they walk just like we do. They're living our lives on different frequency levels, man. And they're fucking... They're getting all the negative energy they can, the energy demon, the demons, the vampires, the interdimensional aliens off of what we don't know. And when we get more afraid, they are feeding off that while, you know, probably joking around with another negative demon saying, <laughs> look at this dumbass. He's talking in a slang. He's such a, <laughs> look at him. He doesn't know anything. He's, he's miserable, good. Let's suck off of it. And they have fangs and they're like, <sighs> and they suck off of it and they're enjoying it up in a, fifth dimension of a frequency and meanwhile you're in the hood saying oh, I run the hood I run the streets I knock two guys out with a brick <laughs> pass me a blunt homie <laughs> it's horrible man dude Snoop Dogg doesn't even talk like that man you realize that like he like, the, like he works for the CIA man that was all he he got paid a lot of money to do that shit and play upon you guys man Pray, in a way, yeah. In a way, he did pray on you guys. You know, that was all. That was all to get. That was all to. He doesn't even talk like that, man. He does not even talk like that. He doesn't even talk like that, dude. Because he knows it doesn't mean shit, man. He knows what this all amounts to. It's either, it's either negative or positive. You either ascend to the next dimension, or you, or you. Get your soul destroyed. It's all about wanting your soul, man. It's all about not letting you ascend to the next dimension, man. He knows that shit. But he acts like he's, you know, he's, he's black and he's this, but he, he knows, man. Dude, he's fully awake, man. But he, he joined the CIA and did all that shit for money. 
like the CIA took him, like I, who knows where, what really happened, man, just all that stuff combined, man. Snoop Dogg doesn't really talk like that, man. Oh, I, I think I played the, no, no, I just paused. Snoop Dogg doesn't really talk like that. There'll be a spirit speaking through a frequency somehow. I mean, shit, you watch The Sixth Sense, the movie, that shit's like true, but they still compartmentalize it, man. And yet that's fictional. Like, a fucking grown-up is like, have you watched the movie The Matrix, how you're in a, it's like a computer, it's so cool, and yet he's in the same thing and he's so asleep he doesn't even realize it, man. He's a fucking bot. He's probably still stuck in The Matrix. And they want to steal your fate to where you're 70 years old and you don't fucking know anything, man. They just hope they can destroy your soul so you can be miserable for the rest of existence, man. <laughs> Yeah, Snoop Dogg, he, he doesn't even talk like that. It's all, uh, he, he's fully, he's, he's woken up to it, man. He, he's, he, he's awake to that shit, he understands. And he, yeah, he's with the, he went with the CIA to, to play the people that would listen to him and so they would start drinking and smoking and meanwhile, he's involved in it but that doesn't define him, he's, it's all an act, man. He doesn't really talk like that, man. He doesn't talk like that. He's totally different because he sees it doesn't matter. That's how much they hate us. That's how, that's how evil it is, man. And I'm sure Snoop Dogg has thoughts that come in. Like, I know he does. Like, even somebody who's fully dark has light come up with them in them. Like, there's always light within everybody because it's one and the same, but the illusion diversifies it, man. Because he has thoughts that come in there. Even Alex Jones has compromised. Like, they all don't want this, but again, they work for evil. It's all that shit. Because even when, with the ones who are compromised, I can see it in their eyes, man. They don't want this shit. And they probably forget to even play their part and act and work for higher ups. So they start, you know, becoming more serious than they should because they realize it's, it's such a fucking joke, man. And they're trying hard to get back in their act. But there's times where they're feeling like, I can't fucking do this anymore. But meanwhile, meanwhile they know who I am and communicate with spirits and meditate probably. And have their third eye open, but talk like they don't know anything, so they can get you to get their supplement, get you to get his supplements, and get you in fear. But he knows, he doesn't even want to do this shit anymore. But he signed on to some because he probably because I, I looked into deep to why he did, to why he did what he did. He wanted to wake people up. I see where he's coming from. Where he should just fess up instead of um, wouldn't, wouldn't you just want to come out and say I'm sorry, guys? Yeah, I was compromised, but I did, I did it to wake you all up, and I sold my soul just to save you guys because he was really that wanting to, he was willing to wake you guys up that he would do that. And that, I can see where he's coming from. And that takes guts in that sense, but it's still wrong, man. Because when your heart is fully dark, that doesn't take away from the fact that you've, the darkness has taken you over. I mean, if anything, you, you would want to get with the light, wouldn't you? But he's gonna fight with me, man. This is before it even happens. It's gonna happen, man. And if I'm wrong, I don't care, man. But wouldn't you, like, if he was doing that to wake people up, wouldn't you want to, like, literally, um, I don't know, like, you know, fucking, wouldn't you, like, want to, like, tell people, hey, I played, I did this to wake you guys up, so in a way I played you guys. I didn't really help you guys the way you should have been helped. But he's not going to. But he has, there's four years left until 2024 happens, because I already have the Mark of the Beast. They have chips being implanted in people in China and shit. But the mark of the beast is going to happen. Because after 2024, the Antichrist is going to rise. And then the mark of the beast is really going to start coming in. And 666 is going to take place, man. This is almost two hours I got to go. Got a lot of videos to upload. I'm going to look through this shit. I don't even know if it will let me keep it. If, if the iPhone will let me keep it. I'm willing to take a risk. I'm ready, I feel like the demons might say, he doesn't know that when he saves this, he won't have any room, so he can't keep the video. <laughs> I'm willing to take the risk, I trust in God. I bet I'm gonna be able to keep it, we'll find out. If you see this video, you know. Bye guys.